what is the major concept which is going to be discussed in this chapter here we are talking about the implications or practical implications uh, of linear functions uh, as you know we are students of uh, uh, we, are, we are business students and here we are talking about corporate scenarios corporate scenarios are given and we have to determine we can determine their profit we can determine their break and point when uh, how much the quantity can be produced to meet the profit meet the target there are different scenarios and here we will be talking about those questions and uh, scenarios will be given and we will be, uh, we, we will be utilizing those scenarios by in mathematical function and we can calculate the answer what is required if you look at question number one what is question number one can you read it a frame sale products for $45 per unit variable constant per unit are $33 and fixed cost equal for uh, $45,000 how many unit must be sold order to break even so in this case selling price if you are a producer of any product if you are a producer of any product you are owner of any farm and there will be some some price of your product selling price selling price is given in the question as well as we have the variable cost per unit we have variable cost per unit and fixed cost is also there fixed cost is also there and we can what we have to determine we have to calculate the break even how much quantity can be sold to meet the break even to meet the break even if you look at the data which is given in question number one what is data uh, what is selling price selling price 45 dollars okay selling price is 45 dollar what is variable cost 33 dollar 33 dollar is a variable cost do we have fixed cost yes sir what is fixed cost? Four lakh fifty thousand. Fixed cost is four fifty thousand. Four fifty thousand. I I think it's dollar. What actually we have to determine? Breaking. We need to determine the break even. We need to determine the break even. As you know, uh, I have stated here the formula of break even. What is break even? Break even is uh, how we can calculate, can be calculated through fixed cost divided with profit margin. margin. And what is profit margin? That is difference between profit and selling price and difference between selling price and variable cost. Do we have selling price? Do we have selling price? Yes, sir. Do we have variable cost? Yes, then we can determine profit margin yes. as well as we have fixed cost. We can simplify the number of units. Uh, what is question? How much quantity uh, or how how many units can be sold in order to break even? So, break even is equal to fixed cost divided by profit margin. Profit margin. Or you can directly write fixed cost divided by uh, price minus variable cost. It's up to you. It's up to you students, either you can write this formula or you can write this. Profit margin is always equal to price minus variable cost. So break even is equal to fixed cost is 450,000 units, is it? Yes. What is uh, price? That is $45 minus uh, variable cost is $33,450,000 divided by 12. So the break even quantity is three break seven, even? Three seven five double zero. Three seven five double zero. Thirty seven thousand five hundred units uh, is the break even quantity. How we can interpret it? If from if from sold how many units? Thirty seven thousand five hundred. Then. Uh, uh, thumb can beat the break even point, then there will be no loss, no profit. If a firm sells 
suppose 35,000 units. 35,000 units. What will face in the loss? If sale is increasing, then the break even firm will get profit. If sale is uh, decreased by or less than break even, then firm will face loss. Okay? Yes. Got the point? Yes. yes, sir. So that is about question number one. Question number two is same as we did in question number one. Here also college students have decided to purchase a local car wash business. The purchase cost is, it means fixed cost is 150,000. 150,000. You, you can look at your book and you can uh, uh, access the data and understand the data what is given. Car wash will be priced at 5.50. 5 .50. If you have a duck service station, uh, obviously you, you will charge some price from the, uh, 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 on car wash. Obviously you are having some labor cost that is variable. So there is also variable cost. So quarter labor BTC is expected to expected to equal one point five. One point five. Prices five point five. Prices five point five. Fixed cost is one fifty. One fifty thousand. And the variable cost is one point five. You can solve uh, the question by putting the values in this formula. Then you can simplify. Got the point? So, we move forward to question number 3. What is question number 3? A charitable organization is planning a raffle to raise 10,500 chances will be sold on a new card. The card will cost the organization $15,000. How much should each ticket cost if the organization wishes to net a profit of 10,000? Look at the question. What is the fixed cost? What is the fixed cost? The car will cost the organization how much amount? 15,000. 15, and what is profit? 10,000. What is profit? This is given in the book. That is 10,000. Uh, so, how much ticket? How much ticket? Uh, should e how much should each ticket cost if the organization uh, wishes to uh, net a profit of 10,000. It means here we have to determine the price. Do we have fixed cost? Yes. Do we have fixed cost? Yes. Do we have quantity? Yes. What is the quantity in this case? What is the quantity in this case? How many tickets they are going to sell? Students who have uh, been very vigilant in understanding the question. 500 chances will be sold. Chances will be sold. If X is, what is X? Quantity is, if X is 500. If X is 500. Fixed cost is? 15,000. 15,000. Fixed cost is? 15,000. And profit is? 10,000. Profit is? 10,000. 10,000. That is target. Profit. What price can be there if they have to achieve 10,000 profit? Look at the sentence. How much should each ticket cost? How much each ticket cost or price if your organization wishes to net a profit off? It means what will be the price of ticket if they are having the target to achieve how much amount? 10,000 profit. 10,000 profit. So here we need to determine the price. Quantity given? Fixed cost given? Profit given? What's missing? Price missing. Here the question is not about the break even. The question is related to this. We, we are falling in this category. Okay, quantity is equal to quantity is equal to I give for participation. Quantity is equal to fixed cost. Fixed cost divided by price. price. 
Fixed cost plus profit divided by price. Divided by price. price. So, what is quantity? X is given. Yes. How many tickets they, they are going to? Uh, how many thousand they are going to? Five. So, that that is five hundred is equal to what is fixed cost? Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. What is profit? Ten thousand. Profit is ten thousand. We need to determine the price per chance. Price per chance or cost per chance, whatever uh, the case is, whatever the scenarios you can uh, uh, you can uh, revise your expressions. Okay. So uh, we can shift here. Price can be shifted. Then we can divide the five hundred. Okay. Then price. Is equal to twenty-five thousand divided by five hundred. So, what's the exact price? Fifty. Sorry. Fifty. Fifty is the exact price. Fifty is the exact price. In this case, we have to combine the value of P. Value of P. Got the point? Yes, sir. Concept clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Here we go uh, to chapter uh, to, to to question number four. What is question number four? A publisher has a fixed cost of two lakh fifty thousand associated with the production of a college. Fixed cost is two hundred fifty thousand. Then the contribution to profit and fixed cost from the sale of each book is six point two five dollars. Look. Contribution to profit and fixed cost from sale of each book is six point two five. Six point two five. It means it's 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 profit margin. It means it's profit margin. What is part A? Determine the number of books which must be sold in order to break even. A uh, profit margin. That is a profit margin, not price, not variable cost. Well, how we will be able to know the contribution to profit and fixed cost? Profit and fixed cost. Okay, from the sale of each book is six point two five. In part A, we need to determine what we need to determine number the break even number of quantity or quantity which meets the break even fund. Break even fund. So, what is fixed cost? Two lakh fifty thousand. Fixed cost is question number four. Fixed cost is two fifty thousand. Profit margin is given. Profit margin is given six point two five two five dollar. And um, part A and part A we need to determine. Break what we have to calculate? Break, break even. even. What is break even? Break even is equal to. Fixed cost divided by profit margin. Profit margin. Do we have the values of input? Yes, sir. We have input data. Then we can determine the break even. So fixed cost is two fifty thousand divided by six point two five. What is sum? Forty thousand. Forty thousand is the our number of units can be uh, can be sold to meet the break even. Okay. Part B. What is the expected profit if fifty thousand books are sold? If fifty thousand books are sold, what is the profit? Uh, uh, what is the profit if fifty thousand books are sold? Uh, here uh, we can uh, simplify the question. How we can simplify the question? Uh, profit margin uh, is also given. Uh, look at this formula. How much quantity is they are going to say in part B? How many books are going to be sold? Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Clear, students? Yes. Fifty thousand books are going to be sold, uh, and fixed cost is twenty-five. Two lakh fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Profit margin is price is given. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, we uh, what we have to determine what we have to determine profit margin profit margin we need to determine profit only profit not profit margin if you look at the question 
What is the expected profit? What is the expected profit if 50,000 books are sold? So quantity is equal to or x is equal to fixed cost plus profit plus profit or price divided by price. price. We have the data price that is uh, 6.25. 6.25. The value of x is given? Yes sir. What is value of x? 50,000. 50,000. 50, the value of x is 50,000. 50, Fixed cost is 250. 1000. What we have to do we have profit? No sir. Or we need to find. Here we can find the profit. Here the price is 2.25. 50,000 multiplied by 6.25. 25 is equal to 250,000 plus plus profit. profit. What sum here? 50,000 multiplied by 312500. 3, 1, 2, 5, double zero. 3, 1, 2, 5, double zero. Double zero. zero. It means 3, uh, 3, 12, Yes. Uh, can we place uh, this here? Yes, sir. Minus 250 of 1000 is equal to profit. profit. What actually we need to determine? Profit. 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 How much the number of uh, how, how much books they are going to sell? Yes. 50,000. Yes, if they sold 50,000 books, then what can be the profit? So profit is equal to 62500. 2500 dollar is the profit. Where is profit? Where is loss? Where is profit? Where is loss? Where it will be process if quantity is greater than break even? Break even. What is break even? 40,000. Then you will be getting profit. If there are 30,000 books, the loss. How will be arranged? Loss. Loss. Will be present? Loss. Concept clear? Yes. yes sir. Okay. Let us go to question number four. Uh, I will be suggesting that you have to solve question number uh, five by yourself. Okay. If you face some problem, then you can ask me. I will help you out. So, what is next question? Question number six. Make or buy decision. Assume data. Make or buy. Decision. Okay. Then assume uh, assume that the uh, manufacturer can purchase a needed component from a supplier at a cost of 9.50 per unit. So the variable cost per unit is 9.50 unit. Okay. Or it can invest invest 60,000 in equipment and produce to the item. Okay. What is fixed cost? Invest. You are going to invest that your fixed cost. 60. Next. And produce the item at a product of 7.00 per unit. So that is cost, uh, item cost per item cost. That is 7 point? 7 dollar per unit. Mm -hmm. So what is part A? Determine the quantity for which total costs are equal for the make and buy alternatives. Make and buy alternatives. Here students, uh, we need to carefully understand the question made or uh, by a decision. So, assume the manufacturer can purchase a, a needed uh, component from a supplier at a cost of 9.5. 9.5 per unit. They have two options. Either they can sell, uh, purchase or they can make by their sale. Uh, if they purchase, what is purchase price here? 9.5. Point 5. One function? Second function is they have other option. They can produce or make by themselves. When they make by themselves, they will bear two costs. One is fixed cost, second is value. In this case, there are two functions. They there have two options. One is purchase option, or second one is make option. What is the main heading of question? Make or purchase. Make or purchase. So obviously we are having two functions. If we have two options, one is the purchase function, second one is make function. Purchase function, let x is, uh, 
x is a quantity which you want to, uh, which is required. Okay. Purchase function, what will be the purchase function? What will be the uh, coefficient of purchase function? 9.5x. 9.5x. So, what will be the main function? What will be the main function? One is fixed cost, second is variable cost. What is fixed cost? 50,000? 60,000. 60,000. 60, 60, plus, what? How much cost? 7 grand. 7.0 0 is the cost. So, one is variable cost, always replace the variable with variable cost. Okay? What is question? Question is determine the quantity for each, uh, for, for which total cost are equal to, equal for the make and buy alternatives. Make and buy alternatives. So, one is purchase function, second one is uh, main function or producing function. So, first of all, we need to uh, draw the functions. That x is quantity. x is product. One is purchase function. Purchase function. Purchase function is 9.5 into x. Is it? Second is main function. Third is produce function. Yes, sir. Produce function. Make and produce function. In produce function, when they are going to produce something, one is fixed cost plus. Variable cost. What is fixed cost? 60,000. 60,000 60, plus 7.00 yes. into x. That is variable cost. That is variable cost. But in this case, what actually we have to determine? We have to determine uh, what, is, what is required. What is required? Uh, determine the quantity for which total costs are equal to uh, equal for make and buy. So, uh, here we can make and make and buy function or purchase function are equal. Are equal. equal. So, part A purchase function is equal to function is equal to make, make function. function is equal to make function. function. So what is purchase function? 9.5x is equal to 60,000. What is main function? 60,000 plus 7.0x. Yes. Yes, First degree equation? Yes. Shift the variable? One side. Third side. And? Other side. And? Simplify. Same. Simplify. So 9.5x minus 7x, is it? Yes. Sir. Yes. Is equal to 60,000. 60,000. 2.5x is equal to 60,000. 60, so x is equal to 60, what's the value? 60,000 divided by 2.5 is equal to 24,000. 24,000 is are the number of units which they are required, either they can sell or either they can make. They, so either purchase. they can purchase or make. make. Clear? Yes, In part A, we have determined what quantity is there, if uh, what quantity can be there if make and purchase are equal to this. Okay? What is part B? What is the minimum cost alternative if 15,000 units are required? What is the minimum cost? If 15,000 15, 15, units are required, what is the minimum cost? Here we have a compar comparative analysis. Comparison. How, how, how many units you are required? 15,000. 15, if you, you are required 15,000 units, either purchase function will be, purchase option will be more viable for you or making, make uh, or, or, or produce function will be 
फिजिकल फॉर दी कंपनी ओके सो पार्ट बी व्हाट इज मिनिमम कास्ट अल्टरनेटिव एंड इफ फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड यूनिट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड पार्ट बी पार्ट बी व्हाट इज वैल्यू ऑफ एस फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड थाउजेंड इज इट सो फर्स्ट वी गेट कास्ट ऑफ परचेज ओके स्टूडेंट्स यस सर सो 9.5 पॉइंट फाइव इन टू वट्स वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सो वट्स वट्स हम वन फोर टू फाइव डबल जीरो वन फोर टू फाइव टू फाइव डबल जीरो डबल जीरो दैट इज दर्चेज कास्ट दैट इज दर्चेज कास्ट वट इज सेकेंड ऑप्शन कास्ट ऑफ या इसको हम क्या कह सकते हैं मेक कास्ट आर यू कैन राइट कास्ट ऑफ मेक फंक्शन आर प्रोड्यूस फंक्शन इज इक्वल टू वन एज सिक्सटी थाउजेंड यस प्लस सेवन इन टू फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड वट इज दैल्यू ऑफ एक्स दैट इज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सो सिक्सटी थाउजेंड प्लस सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाई फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड टोटल सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड फर्स्ट टू टाइम विद दिस सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाई फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड वन ऑफ फाइव वन जीरो फाइव वन सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड वन सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन द कास्ट इधर ऑफ बोथ फंक्शन वॉट इज क्वेश्चन What is the minimum cost alternative if fifteen thousand units are required? What is the minimum cost? What is the minimum cost? So here we we have to determine the cost. Which which function is having less cost? Purchase function. Purchase function. Instead of making the product, they they, they can go for the purchase of any uh, that can be any unit or any uh, any in anything which they are required. So what is part C? If the number of units required of the component is close to the break-even quantity, which factor, what factor might influence the final decision to make or buy? Okay, they will choose the purchasing alternative. If they are uh, near near to break-even, if the number of quantity is uh, near to break-even, near to break-even, what function can be suitable? What function can be suitable? Obviously, the function, the purchase function, is having less cost. That will be more suitable for the company. So, what's the statement? Purchase function will be uh, will be more suitable for the company because it's having less, less cost. It's having less, less cost. cost. Clear? Yes, sir. So that was for question number six. Uh, I was just in question number seven, question number eight, and question number nine. You can solve by yourself as well as question number 10 that's part of your assignment now here we can go for question number 11 uh, we have question number 12 13 14 so uh, which question you want me to solve i'll be suggesting go for question number 12 what is question number 12 which year Sensitive analysis because the parameter constant used in mathematical models are frequently estimates. Actual results may differ from those projected by the mathematical analysis. To One is actual result, one is predicted result. So we have to make the C and F. Okay, go ahead. Right. To account for some of the uncertainties which may exist in a problem, analysts often product uh, conduct sensitivity analysis. Okay. The objective is to assess how much a solution might change if there are changes in model parameters. Okay. Assume in the previous exercise that software development oh, cost. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Question number eleven. If we solve question number eleven, then we can move the move for question number 
uh, twelve. They are interrelated to each other. Okay, okay, you can solve it yourself. I will be solving here question number thirteen and fourteen. What is question number thirteen? Video ga video games. A leading manufacturer of video games is about to introduce four new games. Mm -hmm. The company table summarize price and cost data. Okay, price and cost data. Combine fixed cost equal. Yes, five hundred thousand. The combined fixed cost is five lakh. Okay. A marketing research study predicts that for each unit sold of bank holes, one point five units. Black, black holes. Uh, one each unit of black holes. There are four types of games. There are four types of games. Let X one is game one, X two is game two, X three is game three, X four is game four. And here we have cost as well as their price. Cost as well as their price. Then we can make comparison. What is required? What actually uh, is required in this case? Well, we can simplify our question. So each unit of black holes. Let X one is black hole. Okay. Ne next please. One point five units of Harris Comet. Okay. Three units of Asteroid. Four four units of Pet Person. Okay. Clear? X X one. अब क्या है इसको ब्लैक होल्स को X two is Harris. X three is Asteroid. X four is Pet Person. There are four games. X one to X four. First we will see each unit of uh, black holes. Yeah. Then how many units? One point five is the uh, coefficient or quantity of x two. Then three is the co coefficient unit is asteroid. Okay. And four units are pet related person. to pet person. person. Okay. Then what is part A? How much product mix units must be sold to pay anyone? How much? Product mix can be solved to break even. What is the formula of break even? Fixed cost. Fixed cost divided by profit. Margin. If you look at table, if you look at table, do we have selling price? Yes, sir. Do we have cost? Yes. Sir. Of each game. Okay. What is profit margin? Difference between price and cost. Price and cost. cost. Fixed cost is already there. First, we have to determine the Selling function or selling price function. So first we need to determine selling function. What's question number thirty? Yes, sir. Selling function. Okay. What is price of black hole? Uh, here you can write uh, first. Let x one is that x. Oh, one is black holes. Yes, sir. X two is Harris comet. Harris comet. Okay. X three is asteroid. A A T लिख देते हैं. And X four is black person. P P. Okay. Yes, sir. Then you you should be very careful while writing their coefficients. Be careful when writing the question. Okay. And their selling price. Selling price x1. How many units of x1? Each unit of black hole. What is price of black hole? Okay, we can write here p into x1 plus p into x2 plus price of x3 plus price of x4. What is price of x1? Twenty. Black hole. 1.5 price of black hole price selling price i am not talking about the unit 20 dollars 20 dollars so in x1 then uh then then hales what is price of hales 30 dollars 30 dollar of x2 price of uh what what is this asteroid is to 45 dollars 45 Dollar of X three plus price of per person fifty dollars fifty dollar of X four. Do you understand clear? Yes, sir. 
do we have quantity of each game in the question statement the quantity is given in statement each unit of black hole what's the value of x1 what's the value of x1 that is one unit yes sir what's the value of x2 1.5 units 1.5 unit what's the value of x3 three units three units what's the value of x4 four units four units that is given in the question you are not supposed to be confused from where we took these values these values are given in the question first we have to uh, uh, transform the function then we have to place place the given values in their particular places you should be very careful one is related to uh, uh, i think black holes yes sir and uh, 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 1.5 and 3 and 4 you you should be very careful while placing the values clear yes sir here the value is 20 here the answer is 45 here is 135 135 here is 200 yes so select price select function or selling price you can write whatever you want selling price of all games is equal to 400 okay what is fixed cost in this question fixed cost do we have fixed cost combined fixed cost it's given in the question fixed cost Combined fixed costs. Can you say five hundred thousand? Combined fixed cost is five hundred thousand thousand. What actually we have to determine the break even point quantity. Break even is equal to fixed cost divided by uh, pr price minus variable cost. Yes. Do we have fixed cost? Yes. yes, sir. Do we have combined price? Yes, sir. What we have required? Variable cost. Variable cost, do we have data variable cost yes, in sir. our table? Yes, sir. Then we determine the uh, cost function. Then we, first we have to determine cost the price function. function. Then we have to determine the combined cost. Then we have to determine the combined, combined cost. cost. So, the second point is cost function. What will be the cost function? C of X1? Yes, sir. Then, Cost of X2. Then cost of X3. Then X4. Cost of X4. X4. Okay. Yes. Sir. What is cost of black holes? Ten. Ten. Cost of black hole is ten. And how many units of black holes? One. One. Unit. The value of X is one. one. I directly write here. Okay. Yes. Sir. What is cost of Second x2? 10. Uh, that is, hell is? Common. So, number of units are? 1.5. One point what is cost of next? Or score? 15. 15. How many units? 3. Three. What is cost of pay? pay what, what? 5%. 5%? 20. 20. Number of units are? 4. 4. Number of units are? 4. Four. Here is? 10. Ten. Here is? 15. Here is? 15. Here is 45. 45. Here is 80. 80. What sum? Cost or combined cost is equal to what's value? 150. 150. Combined cost is equal to 150. What's this? Combined price 400. What's this? Combined fixed cost is equal to. 500,000. How we can determine the break even? Break even is equal to fixed cost or price minus. Break even is equal to fixed cost divided by price minus variable cost. Cost variable cost. Clear students? What is fixed cost? 500,000. Concept clear? Yes. Divided by prices 400 minus 150. Okay, what sum? 220. Uh, so 500,000 divided by uh, 220. Here, here, here. 
250. 400 minus 150 is equal to 2? 20. 250? 50 or 20? 50. 250. So, what's the value, break even quantity is, break even is? 2000. 2000 is the break even. Concept clear? Yes, sir. The quantity is, combined quantity is 2000 units. 2000 units. What is part B? How much this translate into sales of individual games? How much? This translate into sales of individual games. Okay. Uh, individual games. How many games are there? Four. Four. How much it translates to individual games? Is it? Uh, okay. Power X1. Power X1. What is total quantity? Break even is 2000. 2000. How many units of X1 are there? Break holes. One, one. unit is equal to 2000. Or X2. X2, X2 is? Uh, Alice? Alice. Comet. Okay. 20,000, sorry, 2000 is the overall combined function. How many units? One point. Five. Its value is? 3000. 3000. What's next? X, for X3, 2000 is fixed and how many units? 3. 3. Six, What's six, value? 6000. 6000. Six, six, for X4, 2000 is the quantity four. multiplied by 4 is equal to 8000. That was about part B. What actually we have required, uh, uh, how, how does uh, this translate in, into the sale of individual games. Into the sale of individual games. Uh, how many units? One. Multiply with 2000 units of uh, black holes. 3000 units of Hellish Comet. Hellish Comet. And uh, then 6000 units of Asteroid. Then 8000 units of Pegasus. person. So we have to determine the individual quantity. We have to determine the individual, individual game quantity in this case. Clear students? Yes. Question number 14. Read it. A company produces three products which sell in a ratio of four units of product two and two units of product three for each unit sold of product. Same one. question. There are three uh, products. Let X1 is product. One X2 is product two. Product two. Product two. X3 is product three. Product three. X3 is product three. Three. How many units of product one? One unit. One. How many units of product two? Two units. And product three. Product three. Read it. These are given. You just read. And two units of product three. Two units of product three. three. So let x1 is equal to product 1. How many units? 1. 1. And x2 means product 2. How many units? 4 units. 4 units. And product 3? 2 units of product 2. 2 units. Uh, question number 14. Let x1 is equal to product 1. Product 1. 1. x2 is equal to? Product 2. Product 2. And x3 is equal to? Product 3. Product 3. Number of units of product 1 is x1 is equal to? 1. 1. one. x2 is equal to? 4. 4. x3 is equal to? 2. Concept clear? Yes. x3 is equal to 2? 2. Okay. What is part A? Summarize prices and cost data, data for the three products. If co fixed costs are estimated at 2.8 million, determine the number of units of each product needed needed to break even. Okay, needed to break even. We have to determine the break even. Look at what is the fixed cost in this question? 2.8 million. Fixed cost 2.8 million. It's very tough for you students. How many zeros will be in 2.8 million? Six. Six zero. 
So 2.8 million. After 2, there will be 6 digits. If there is 2 million, then there will be 6. If 2.8, okay, instead of this 0, we are putting 8. If there is 3.9 million, 3, 9, nine and five. If there is 89 million, 9 89 million, not 8.9, 89, then 6 zero. You should be very careful <laughs> and uh, I'm sure you will make mistake. Well, okay. Zero. Okay. In this case, in case we have to determine break even. Part A, we need to determine break even. What is break even? Fixed cost divided by Profit. price minus variable, variable. variable cost. Do we have price in, uh, in, in, in uh, table? Yes, sir. So price, price function first you can determine. Uh, uh, so price of x1 40. plus price of x2 plus price of x3. x3. Okay, students? Yes. So what is price of x1? That is product 1. 40. What is price of x1? 40. 40. What? How many units are there? 1. 1. Price of x2? 32. 32. How many units? 4. 4. What is price of x3? 55. 55. And number of units are? 2. 2. 2. Sum it. 40 plus what's here? 1 to 8. 1 to 8 plus 1 1? 0. 0. What is sum? So price is equal to 278. 278. Then we can determine the cost. Then we can determine cost. So cost function is cost is equal to C of X1, X1 plus C of X2, X2 plus C of X3. X3. C of X3. X3. C of X3. C of X3. What is cost of X1? 20. 20. Number of units of x1 are? 1. 1. What is cost of x2? 24. 24. Into number of units are? 4. 4. Cost of x3 is? 46. 46. Number of units are? 2. 2. Number of units are? 2. 2. Uh, here we can simplify it. 20 plus? 96. What's value here? 96. 96 Six. plus? 92. 92. What's total cost? 208. Cost is equal to 208. So how we can determine the break one Jute, gentlemen? How we can determine the break even quantity? Uh, do we have formula? Yes. A uh, break even. What is formula? What is FC? That is fixed cost. Divided by? Price. Price minus? Price minus? Variable. What is fixed cost? Do we have fixed cost? 280,000. So break even is equal to 280,000. Divided by what is, what is price? Two. Very good. 278. What is cost? Variable cost? 208. 208. Excellent. Then you calculate it. 280,000 divided by 70. 70. So, break even is equal to 4,000. 4,000. 4,000 is the quantity uh, of break even. Uh, in this case, uh, in a I think question number 14, we just have to determine the break even quantity. And question number 14 also deals with the same approach that you can solve by yourself. <coughs> that is all about exercise number 5.3 and uh, uh, you have to make practice and the rest of questions are part of your assignment. I, I, I wish you best of luck for your assignment and we will see you in next class. Thank you.